Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. The week's top headlines from American Angus Association headquarters include strategies for developing successful partnerships between Seastock and commercial customers. We go behind the meat counter to connect the dots between ranch and retail. Weather conditions remain dry in parts of the West, what cattlemen are doing to cope, and a giveaway that could put you in the seat of the new Yamaha Viking 6. This is the Angus Report. Hello, I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. Profitable partnerships depend on good communication and customer service between seed stock producers and their commercial cattle customers. Breeders are selling more than bulls. They're selling solutions as America's cattlemen work to rebuild the nation's cow herd. By feeding all those cattle, uh, you know, the customers appreciate it, plus it's a good, I get some good feedback about how their bulls do with those customers. So whether I bought those cattle or not, I was a player in the market to help those people market their cattle. When customers sell at the sale barn and they know they're out of our bulls, they command more money too. So that's another thing that, that puts money in their pockets. So it's, it's, it's been a good thing all the way around. America's farmers and ranchers work every day to supply consumers with high quality beef. And Kurt Brockhouse of Cisco Lincoln says the company works to support that effort beginning with local ranches. The Lincoln location provides their restaurant customers with beef from Nebraska producers dedicated to raising quality products. Brockhouse explains why Cisco Lincoln takes the term buying locally seriously. So it's, it's important that we're buying the cattle buy, that are supporting the local farmers and ranchers because they're the ones that are actually coming to our restaurant. When we brought in Certified Angus Beef eight years ago, it was an easy transition for us to start talking about the higher quality beef that we have, what makes it different than the choice and select products they're seeing from everybody else. And they could actually see it and taste that difference and actually upgrade and, and give the product that the customers are looking for. We really appreciate it here on, on, on this side of the business, all the work and effort you're doing with Certified Angus Beef, putting in the, the 10 to 16 square inch spec, the marbling spec, the sizing spec, everything that goes into CAB to make it different from everybody else. Genomic data contributes to more rapid genetic improvement and increased accuracies for younger animals. Nebraska Angus breeder Bill Rischel says, with advancing technology, the potential is great for key economic impact areas like feed efficiency and reproductive traits to make further improvements in ranch profitability and beef quality. That's where the greatest benefit of genomics is probably going to be. There'll be traits that are not easy, easily measured in other areas. The greatest impact that genomics has is that there are some markers that have been identified, gene markers, that will relate to some of the traits that we utilize to increase performance. And because they are only responsible for a portion of that performance, those markers and that genomic information has been incorporated into the methodology that we use to create EPDs. When we get markers that'll help to sort out the value of these cattle in terms of reproduction, we now are going to make some very rapid genetic improvement in areas that we have not been able to do so in the past because they're extremely difficult to measure in any other way. The latest drought monitor from the National Drought Mitigation Center indicates that nearly 60 percent of California has slipped into exceptional drought, a jump from the 37 percent previously reported in the center's highest drought category. CattleNetwork.com reports that meteorological indicators suggest the promise of an El Nino weather event is waning, and even in such an event, potential moisture could prove inadequate for full drought recovery. An economic analysis from UC Davis shows drought conditions have cost the state more than $2 billion. Visit droughtmonitor.unl.edu to view complete drought ratings across the U.S. Cattlemen who register for the 2014 Angus Means Business National Convention and Trade Show have a chance to win an all-new Viking 6, a six-person side-by-side released this year by Yamaha. Registration costs just $25, and producers who sign up before September 5th earn further chances at the drawing, which takes place during the conference slated for November 4th through the 6th in Kansas City, Missouri. Everyone in beef cattle production is invited to attend the event, which includes a comprehensive informational component, 
access to Angus University, sponsored by Merck Animal Health, nationally known speakers in entertainment, evening galas, and a chance to network with people from every sector. Visit angusconvention.com to learn more or to register for the event. We go now to Jen McCorrell with a look at news you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Crystal. The National Junior Angus Association announces Arkansas member Emma Jumper as its 2014-2015 Angus Ambassador. Jumper was among the three top finalists who traveled to the American Angus Association headquarters to compete in an interview, presentation, and a question and answer session in front of a panel of judges. Other finalists include Esther McCabe of Elk City, Kansas, and Will Pullman of Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Jumper succeeds Angus Ambassador Macy Lineman of Princeton, Nebraska, and will spend the next year serving as a spokesperson for the breed and traveling to various cattle industry events in the United States and Canada. The Angus Ambassador Program is funded by the Angus Foundation. The Angus Media Team was recently recognized during the Ag Media Summit in Indianapolis, Indiana, where writers and designers from Angus Productions Incorporated were honored with several first place awards for their excellent work in public relations, the Angus Journal, and the Angus Beef Bulletin. The Ag Media Summit is a joint conference of the Livestock Publications Council, the American Agriculture Editors Association, and the American Business Media Agri Council. More than 600 ag communicators attended the event. API is the for-profit subsidiary of the American Angus Association. Speaking of Angus publications, this month marks an important anniversary for API's monthly magazine, The Angus Journal. The American Angus Association purchased the publication in 1979, and the story of that historic decision is laid out in the pages of this month's issue. For the past 35 years, Angus breeders have relied on the magazine to report on industry-leading practices, to deliver important association news and features, and to offer an unrivaled platform for marketing Angus genetics. Learn more about the media company's storied heritage or sign up for the magazine at angusjournal.com. And that's what you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Jenna. When the Angus Report returns, we discuss the rising popularity of grid marketing. And we travel to Nebraska to explore the role of a feed yard. Visit Angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Join the team, the Beef Quality Assurance Team. Getting BQA certified shows you're committed to practices that produce the highest quality beef in the world. And by visiting BQA.org, you can take the online certification course at a time that fits your schedule and from the comfort of your home or office. You'll also find lots of helpful tips on improving animal health and animal handling practices. Get certified, BQA certified, because it's about doing the right thing. Visit BQA.org today and become a member of the BQA team. Its arrival is as routine as the truck that brings the next load of calves. You stand ready, waiting, watching for symptoms. A revolutionary new weapon in hand. Unique chemistry and hard-hitting active ingredient. Longer duration in the respiratory tract. Rapid absorption. Join the Zuprevolution. Zuprevo, Tilda Pearson. See your veterinarian. Working your cattle just got easier. Introducing the new Vet Gun Delivery System, a new way to apply topical insecticides to your cattle. The Vet Gun lets you remotely treat cattle with effective parasite control, so you can do it from an ATV, on horseback, or just walking among the herd. It's that simple. The proven topical insecticide AML Vet Cap is used with the Vet Gun. It works fast to control horn flies and lice while minimizing stress on your cattle. Fast, easy, effective. Vet Gun. Check with your animal health supplier for availability. The sun is up, the heat is on, and your cows are under stress. Keep them cool and keep them grazing with VitaFirm Heat, a complete mineral and vitamin supplement for your cattle. Research proves VitaFirm Heat improves performance and feed utilization during summer's hot days. VitaFirm Heat is loaded with organic zinc, copper, and B vitamins to fight stress caused by heat and fescue. Plus, VitaFirm is powered with the Amifirm Advantage, ensuring abundant rumen microbial populations for improved feed utilization. The heat is on. Keep your cows cool and keep them grazing with VitaFirm Heat. Learn more at VitaFirm.com. 
Did you know your checkoff is sharing the benefits of beef with millennials through social media? Did you know your beef checkoff helped get six extra lean cuts certified as heart healthy by the American Heart Association? Did you know your checkoff is helping us set new U.S. beef export records? While you manage your operation, your beef checkoff is working hard to keep beef top of mind with consumers here and around the world. Get to know your checkoff and start sharing the facts at mybeefcheckoff.com. Horn flies cost cattle producers nearly $1 billion a year. They interrupt grazing, cause loss of blood, and impact your bottom line. By incorporating Altacid IGR into your supplement program, you can prevent the emergence of adult horn flies. Altacid IGR will significantly reduce stress on your cattle. For pennies a day, you can control the most costly parasite and increase your profitability. Contact your feed supplier to incorporate Altacid IGR today. 44 Farms is your trusted source for Angus genetics. 44 Farms is a fully integrated Angus business that brings you quality from the pasture to the plate. And thank you to all of our customers for making this spring sale season our best ever. We are humbled by your confidence in 44 Genetics. Balanced trait genetics, a passion for customer service, and a common sense approach to the seed stock business are all things you can expect when doing business with 44 Farms. Our gate is always open at 44 Farms. Call or stop by our headquarters in Cameron, Texas anytime. We'd love to show you around. Look for us at 44farms.com and 44stakes.com. <laughs> 